there might be a job available? Uh, no. Uh, we do get pretty busy, though. Especially at lunchtime. time. Is the owner around? Carlotta is out. She should be back pretty soon if you want to hang out. Thanks. Hey! Rex! You wouldn't be following me, would you? Uh, I'm meeting someone. <laughs> you? I'm looking for a job. You're applying for a job. Here. Why not? I am a waitress. No, I, ju I just meant you're serious about staying in Landview. I told you I was. Nothing against Texas. Well, they say everything's bigger down there. Ah, bigger isn't everything, trust me. Plus, I like the idea of raising Shane here. Four seasons and snow and all, like we grew up. Didn't realize how much I missed it till I came back north. I bet Shane loves living in that mansion, right? What's not to love? Movies on demand, game room, and a maid whose name isn't Mom. But everybody's fantasy's got to end sometime. What do you mean? Well, we're moving out as soon as I can get together a security deposit. Well, you know, a higher-end restaurant would, would bring in bigger tips. I know, I know this club. I can't work nights. I have to be home when Shane gets back from school. Right. Plus, I need health benefits, and in the restaurant business, those are pretty rare. Well, well does it have to be waitressing? I remember you took all these business courses in high school. Weren't you, like, Southern Michigan's fastest typist? In the under-16 category, first runner-up. But I never actually worked in an office. I could never find a desk job in Paris that paid better than the Bonjour. Plus, I walked away with cash every day, and you kind of get used to that. But I know, Carlotta, I could put in a word for you. No, thanks. You, oh, I, I said no. Hurt. Never needed your help before, and I sure as hell don't need it now. Did I say you couldn't take care of yourself? I was there when you beat up Danny Ruggles in sixth grade. Don't you dare tell Shane about that. I'll never hear the end of it. I won't say a word uh, about you to anyone in town. How's that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump down your throat. I just hate feeling like I'm depending on Vicky or anyone else for that matter to take care of Shane and me. Oh, well, which is why I thought you'd go back to Texas where you had a life and a job. There was no Ramsey. Are you trying to get rid of me? Never. So, how'd you wind up in Texas? Is that where Shane's dad's from? No. Uh, so, uh, you were stationed there. Ever heard of any landlocked naval bases, Balsam? No wonder you're not making any money as a PI. I'm not playing detective here. I've got ten years to catch up on. I can't believe you're a mom. It's hard to believe I ever wasn't. Shane's the best thing I ever did. Of course, I can only take credit for half of his genes. But you raised him. He's terrific. You hardly know him. But you're right. He is terrific. Look, I know you had a lot of friends uh, in Texas that you could count on to lend you a hand. So, if I offer to babysit Shane, it is not because I don't think you can't take care of yourself. Besides, I'm always looking for an excuse to play video games. I know. I just want you to know that you have a friend in Landview that you can count on this time. Yeah, I'm good with kids since I still pretty much am one. I noticed. <clears throat> and Shane really likes you, so thank you. I don't want to piss off your fiancé any more than I already have. No, you yeah, haven't pissed. Oh, hold that thought. <sighs> hey. Hey, honey, how you doing? Uh, isn't it like the middle of the night there? No, nothing much. Uh, I'm at the diner. Meeting Cole? What? Huh? No, I, I'm losing you. Yeah. Okay, I love you too. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Yep, bye. Bye. What? I just can't believe Rex Balsam has a fiancé making fashion deals in Paris, France. Certainly traded up from your hash slinging ex from Paris, Texas. Don't say that. <laughs> Cole, what's up? No, that's okay. Uh, yeah, no, we'll just we'll we'll talk about it later. Okay. Hello. Balsam, it's Bo. What's up? 
I think I may have a job for you down at uh, BE. You up for that? Sure. I'm between jobs and I got a big wedding to pay for. I'm up for just about anything. Thanks. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'll see you when you get here. Okay, bye. I gotta run. I heard. Good luck with the job. See ya. See ya. They are. Long time on feed. Yeah. I'm guessing you dragged me down here for a reason. It's a big emergency. Did Shane have a good time tonight? Yeah. He's starting to make friends in Landy. Oh, he's gonna have tons of friends. He's your kid. Hey, you didn't make me take the bus all the way down here to the bus. I'm sorry, I would have given you a ride. The point, Rex. Gotta go at the diner. No jobs, but I'll get a gig somewhere. No big deal. What if I told you I already found you one? Why did you do that? I told you I don't need your help. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, my sister needs your help. See, Natalie works for Buchanan Enterprises. They're in the middle of this huge crisis, and they could really use another secretary. Admin assistant. Is that the PC term? Well, whatever it is, I can't be one. Why not? I don't have any experience, Rex. Yeah, you took all those courses in high school? That's not the same thing as actually doing the job. I don't, I'm not up to speed on new software or whatever. Besides, I like waitressing, especially like the tips. BE give you all sorts of perks that you'd never get working in a diner. Health benefits for Shane. Jeez, both of them. I know you own a nightclub and a PI business. Are you running an employment agency too? I dabble on all kinds of things. You know what? I don't think we shouldn't do business here. Well, we had to meet somewhere. And you didn't want me to come to your apartment, so you decided to take me out on the town? Wait till your fiance hears about this. Then she can hate me even more. No, she doesn't hate you. And just because you don't need my help doesn't mean that it's automatically a bad idea. It is, because you thought of it. How come Shane doesn't get health insurance from the Navy anyway? Sorry. None of my business. What about the B job? You don't give up, do you? No. Neither do you, as I recall. What do you say? Josh, you cheat. Uh, you met Jared. The life saving hero, yes. Hi, Helen. Nat, I hear you guys are in the market for a new AA at BE, and uh, Gigi types like 800 words a minute. She can take shorthand. We're not shorthand anymore. <laughs> so, uh, how do you guys know each other? Um, Gigi was my best bud back in high school. Aww. That's me. Well, if Rex thinks you're great, then. That's all I need to hear. I, I'd actually hire you on the spot. The last time I did that, I got into a huge trouble. Well, that worked out, didn't it? Anyway, do you want to come by tomorrow for an interview? I'll set up an appointment with HR. Thanks. Better get back to Shane. I have to quiz him on his times tables before bed. Uh, do you at least have time for me to buy you a drink? Celebrate your new job. I don't have the job yet. You will. Thanks again. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. Of service. Wow. Well, you said you forgot your key. They have servants. Plus, I'm lost. I was going to drop you outside the gate. It's like a mile hike. It's another four miles to the bus stop. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Not many people in the Anderson district take public transportation, I guess. They don't even have gloves. Mm. Didn't eat any in Texas. Plus, all those Michigan winners? This is nothing. I know. You're tough. What are you talking to? Remember when I beamed you at the football game in the nose? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I felt like Marsha Brady. I felt so guilty. Especially after you went to the, the doctor, finally after, what, three days and found that it was broken. Yeah, and every time I look in the mirror, I think of you. I mean, every time I look at my funny nose. You have a great nose. Thanks. Great everything. You're shivering, get inside. Thank you.